see Chuck Wrangle yesterday? You hear Charlie Wrangle? Let's go to the audio sound bites real quick. And I, what, I hear, what I want you to do first, Mike, and let's see. Da, 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 da. Go back and grab audio sound bite number four. I just want to. I just want to prove this again. I can tell you what I said, but I want you to hear me say it. This is February twenty second of two thousand eight. We are ten months here before the presidential election. Ten months before Obama has won. We're in fact, we're only one month away from Operation Chaos here. At the time, this audio soundbite was was created by me, and you remember Operation Chaos as our effort to save Hillary's candidacy in 2000. But boy, she may need it again. Did you see? Holy smokes, did you see? Now there's a story. Hillary Clinton has lost the new car smell. Hillary doesn't have the new car smell, which Obama says any candidate needs. Who is running around sniffing Hillary to know that she doesn't have a new car smell? And if she doesn't have a new car smell, what does she smell like? And then she goes to Georgetown. I'm telling you, folks... It is the biggest myth in the world that Hillary Clinton is a lock and a shoe-in to be elected president. Nobody bought her book. They had to arrange, after it had already been a disaster, they had to arrange all these book signings and probably arrange and pay, maybe, for people to show up and act like paying customers. She does not connect with people. So the publisher gives her this astronomical advance, thinking it, oh, you're buying and drinking the Kool-Aid. Hillary Clinton, most popular Democrat, just put the book out there and gazillions are going to sell. And none did. And she goes to speak at Georgetown yesterday, and the place is over half empty. And it's not the first time that has happened. So she may need help from this program again, depending on what other circumstances evolve in that campaign.